I shocked the kids. When we stopped to eat, I stepped outside my truck. Why? Why can't we have a normal dad? This is just bad luck. I wanted to hear these words come out. Dad, you're such a sport. I love what you just did for me. Now let's go home and change our shorts. If I'd have held my breath for those words that never came, I'd be dead and buried now with only me to blame. But drastic times calls for drastic measures. So we went inside to eat. And I tried my best to avoid those stares. It was tough to be discreet. <laughs> But with hand on hip, I read my choices of the meal that looked the best. <laughs> Not knowing that my kids snapped pictures. Now let me tell you the rest. 10 minutes, set, ten minutes sat and eating now, feeling glad I'm not a quitter. All at once my son blurts out, hey, I've got 60 shares on Twitter. <laughs> He went on to say that he posted a picture. It was being seen by all. He showed my wife, then my daughter too. Now they'd get on the ball. My wife signed on to Facebook. My daughter to her Tumblr. Both posted pics and stories too. I felt outnumbered. What the heck, I had no pride. No pride left. My lesson had met the devil. But to give up now would admit defeat. So let's take this to another level. All at once I blurted out, miniature golf still in the plans. Well, that's when they gave me goofy looks. But then it soon began because we golfed all night on borrowed nerve, midst those stops and stares. Nervous though, to pick up the ball. <laughs> for what it might just bear. <laughs> well, we grabbed some shakes and headed home. Was a lesson learned? Time will tell, but what's for sure, she knows of my concern. I didn't need to get uptight or read the riot act. Just teach with love and humor so she didn't feel attacked. Well, we still laugh about that night when we were all good sports but they'll never give their dad another reason to wear them shorts. <laughs> so anyway, that's the... <laughs>